welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be starting with my face and I'm going to prime it with the Nivea Pochet Balm. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face to make sure that makeup stays on all day long, all night long, wherever you're using this. You can use this for like a night out. It's a really cool look. Um, but yeah, I'm going in with my foundations and this time I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation in the shade 51 and lightening up a little bit with the NYX Total Control Foundation that you saw just now. And that's in the sh palest shade. I think it's still warm pale or something. And um, I'm just mixing those two and buffing them out with my foundation buffing brush. You know, you know how it is, just buffing it out. And guys, this foundation, these two foundations are both drugstore. And look at the coverage. It makes my skin look so nice. I really like this. I really like the mix. I really recommend it. Next, I'm moving on to concealers. And yes, I'm using three. It might seem like they're a ton of concealers or I'm applying a ton of concealer, but it's not. I just apply a little bit of each one to get like my perfect type of coverage because not every single one of them does what I want, you know? But yeah. First I'm going in with the uh, Borgia Radiance Reveal Concealer. That's, this is in the fairest shade again. I'm really pale. Yeah, that's what happens. Um, I use this one because it's really like healthy looking and light and glowy and just, I love it. I'm blending that out with the sponge and it gives kind of like a nice natural coverage, but you know, about them under eye circles so I go in with my Tarte Maracuja creaseless concealer right now and just like apply it wherever I have like a blemish a really dark circle that horrible blemish I had next to my nose yeah anyways by the way guys I'm sorry if I sound so congested I'm ill at the moment and I'm trying hard to like not sound so congested but bear with me anyways I blend it out with my finger and you know just tap it lightly especially around your blemishes so you don't rub the concealer away and now I'm going in with the collection lasting perfection concealer it's in the shade one fair and I just use that to brighten my whole face up. It's kind of like highlighting and contouring but with a concealer because I don't really like using a highlighting powder, if you know what I mean. So I use kind of like a concealer to brighten and then like a contouring powder, that's what I kind of go for. And yeah, I'm just lightly tapping it, lightly blending it because if, I, if you tap that way too hard on your face, you're going to remove the rest of the concealers and everything's just going to go away. It's going to be pointless. So yeah, remember, lightly, lightly blending. And now I'm going to set my foundation, concealer and everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, Loose Setting Powder. And I have to go in really lightly with this powder. It goes very matte, but it does not flash back. It is a really nice consistency and it's a really finely milled, so I really like this. But you just have to be really careful if you don't like that fully dry matte look. You just have to be careful. So I just apply a little tiny bit, especially under my eyes because my under eyes are really dry. And then I go in with a ton of setting spray once I finish my face. So yeah. Moving on to bronzer. As per usual, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. You guys, I love this bronzer. You know I use it every single time I put makeup on. If you guys know any shade, any other bronzer that like is similar to this, I would love to know. Please let me know in the comments down below because I am obsessed with this shade and I have no idea what other bronzer I could use that looks like this. But yeah. Contouring. Um, for contouring, I'm using the NYX Contour Kit thing. I don't know. I'll link everything in the description box down below. I forgot the name. I'm sorry. But yeah. I'm contouring my cheekbones and my nose. And for my nose, I'm using an angled eye brush. And this is one of like my biggest tips. Use an angled eye brush for your nose contour. It makes everything so much easier. And now my moving on to my blush. Now, I cannot find any other blush like this. I know this is limited edition and I use it on my channel, but you guys, this blush is amaz amazing. It's amazing. I love it so much. If you know any blush or anything similar, please let me know in the comments down below, please. Yeah. Moving on to highlight, I'm using the NYX um, Strobe Genius Eliminating Highlighting Palette thing. And I'm using one shade first to go like all over my face with like, you know, cheekbones brow bone highlight, my nose, my upper lip, my chin, like, you know, making everything full of highlight. You can never highlight too much, you know, maybe you can, I don't know. Anyways, and then I go really, really lightly with the paler shade to make, like, certain areas of my face pop more than the others. You know, just gleam that little bit more, like, you know, just there, a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, um, then I grab a really thin eye brush, and then I just uh, highlight my nose with that. And this is the part where everything comes together. You use the NYX Dewy Setting Spray Finishing Spray, you know, the setting spray. And then you spritz it all over your face and you tap it with the damp sponge. Just tap it lightly and this is going to push 
all of the setting spray against like the powders and everything so it's going to make your face look so nice and not powdery anyways moving on to eyebrows I'm using the NYX eyebrow gel in the shade 04 espresso and I'm using the Ardell double-ended um, brush and I'm just lightly drawing in kind of like hairs and towards the bottom I'm kind of making it and I don't know how to really explain it but as you can see is I'm dragging it into kind of like a line I'm like a crisp line I want it to be quite clean uh, towards the bottom but I'm still drawing hairs I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever but as you can see here I'm kind of doing like quick little hairs and it still looks natural I'm not drawing a whole brow in there because I really don't like that look but it's another type of way you could do your eyebrows it doesn't look like really chunky or fake or anything it looks like I still filled my brow in I don't know I really like this look but yeah to set my eyebrows I'm going in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade medium dark and I just went in all over with that it has fiber so it makes my eyebrows look really bushy and like nice and now for eyes I'm using the Morphe 25B um, eyeshadow palette and I'm just doing a really simple eye look as you can see I am just setting my um, the concealer and then going in with a transition shade which is like a really nice pale pink and then with that brown shade I'm just going to start putting everything in my outer corner and then dragging it inwards and this is going to be basically the same thing for all of the eyeshadows I'm going to place next they're not that many it's a really simple eye look so yeah you can use this on like a day-to-day -day basis the eye look or you can even use this on a day now day now a day or night out and pair up with the red glossy lip you can choose whatever you want to do but yeah this is exactly what I was saying you just grab the shades and place them on your outer corner and then slightly blend them inwards so you elongate your eye that's what you're doing with the eyeshadows next with the Estee Lauder double wear um, coal eyeliner I'm just going to kind of smudge it in a cat eye motion like you know you're trying to elongate your eye right here so I just want kind of like an eyeliner smudge that's what I was going for right there and to smudge it I'm using the pencil brush and it gives you kind of like that faded liner effect which I really like I really like that yeah. next I'm going in with mascara and this is the Maybelline lash sensational mascara it's waterproof always waterproof with my lashes you know how my lashes are they won't stay up with normal mascaras but yeah anyways I, I'm just applying like a few coats of mascara I, I'm not applying lashes this time and yeah I'm just doing my top and bottom lashes and then moving on to my lips which is kind of like the main thing of this whole look um, I'm cleaning off the crusty foundation lips because no one likes that um, and then I'm going in with the Kat Von D everlasting liquids liquid slips like liquid lipstick in the shade Santa Sangre um, I'll link everything down below um, it's this like nice really nice orangey red I really like this and I'm I'm combining two lip colors like with undertones like different undertones to get this weird shade that I really want to go for and I really like how it came out in the end as, as you saw at the beginning of the video I really like it um, but yeah I'm just going in with this lipstick I'm slightly overdrawing my lip like overdrawing overlining why is it overdrawing anyways yeah as you can see I'm just going slightly over the border not too much because I don't want to look like a clown a clown the sound of music <laughs> yeah okay sorry yeah I'm just trying to get it the most even as possible because since I am using gloss I can't really fix it with gloss and I don't want it to run so yeah for the gloss I'm using the Tanya Burr lip gloss in the shade cranberry melt this is from her advent calendar so yeah it came in one of the 12 days of Tanya's Christmas advent calendar and I really like this shade it really is kind of like a cranberry shade and I really like this it's not sticky it's a really nice color payoff as you can see like it just I love it I am in love with these lip glosses she came out with three lip glosses in this in this advent calendar and I really liked it so yeah I'm just going in all over the place just it looks so good I mean you can definitely go for this look without the gloss but I mean the whole point of it is having a gloss look glossy red glossy juicy lips and now this is entirely optional this is something that I wanted to do like in case you want to have a, like a pop of something for a night out or something or a day transition from day to night you could add some glitter on your inner corner and now my last tip for this video is put your finger in your mouth and take off the excess lip gloss so you don't have like gloss all over your teeth but yeah this is the finished look guys, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you like this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I love you guys. Oh, this, you crazy mother
Yeah.